Let's get back to the decision to reinstate third degree murder charges in the Chauvin trial. Criminal defense attorney and legal analyst Joe Tram Tamburino joins us live on mid morning. Joe, you watch this go down. The judge uh, listened to arguments, but it seemed like he felt that he didn't have much room to decide here. Hi, good morning. Yes, that's absolutely true. It's a perfect example about how our court system works. It starts at the trial court level, which is Judge Cahill, and goes all the way up to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court made an order which he must follow. So that third-degree murder charge now back in, now back reinstated. Does the trial just progress as normal? Does jury selection go on? Do we have that March 29th start date for opening statements? Yes, that's what's good about what happened today. Now that the third degree murder charge is in, everything goes forward. The train keeps going. So the jury selection process will continue as it is happening now. And March 29th is still the start date for the actual trial. Uh, I sort of set up the difference in these charges as a second degree murder charge requires some intent to commit a felony, not necessarily intent to commit a murder, but intent to assault, which could be tough to prove here. Uh, third degree doesn't require intent to kill or assault, does it? It doesn't, and that's a really good analysis, Jason, because with the second degree, you do have to prove that underlying felony. And the third degree just fits this case more with the alleged facts. So that, that's quite a good analysis. So you have those two charges there, Joe. I know you have told us in the past that it could be easier to prove the third degree, but aren't you also giving jurors two options here to look at if they say, look, I don't know if I can choose second degree, but I, I could choose third degree. Yes, that's absolutely true. In fact, they have three options now. They're going to have the top count of second degree felony murder, the middle count of third degree murder, and the bottom count of second degree manslaughter. So now the jury has three options, whereas before they only had two. Joe, this decision to reinstate is totally based on the Court of Appeals ruling in the Knorr case that third degree murder charge can apply when there's only one uh, person in danger, which clearly was the case in the facts of the Derek Chauvin case. Uh, what happens if the Supreme Court overrules the Court of Appeals on the Knorr appeal, which is scheduled to be heard this summer? That's a great question. Uh, if that did happen, then Mr. Chauvin, if he's convicted, would have a great appeal issue. However, the reality is this. If the Minnesota Supreme Court said, look, the Court of Appeals decision that Noor is precedent is correct, I, even though they are going to hear the Noor case later on, I think it would be highly unlikely that they would reverse the Noor decision. I think the Noor decision, and I, I think this is true, is here to say. All right, Joe Tambrino, thanks for joining us this morning.